Hey, and welcome back. Let's start up by cranking up the grill. Let's go back in the kitchen. To start my salmon dish, I start with the freshest salmon. Go right to the butcher, I have them cut me almost a pound filet each. Once I do that, I bring it home, I have my ingredients all prepared, I throw a little pepper on each one, I throw a little kosher salt on each one, and a little lemon seasoning. And finally, just a dab of garlic salt. My next step is to brush on my maple glaze, which is a combination of maple syrup, teriyaki sauce, and soy sauce. I lightly brush it on my salmon fillets. Now while I'm doing this, of course, I've already turned on my flat top over there because I'm going to sear each side of my salmon fillet just for a minute each to form a kind of glaze to almost caramelize my salmon fillets to keep the moisture in once I put it on the grill. So, follow me over to the grill. Now the salmon goes right into the flat top. We'll let that go ahead and sear and caramelize on each side for one minute. for a minute on each side, then I'll go ahead and take them out to the grill, and it's a quick seven minutes on a side, depending on your heat. Always low heat when it comes to cooking fish. From the skillet to the grill. This is the most important part of cooking my salmon. let those cook for about five to seven minutes on the side. We gotta hustle back inside, and get our vegetables going. Now I'm gonna hit the vegetables with my buddy Lon Christopher's Socket to Me Marinade. A great mixture of teriyaki, soy sauce, ginger, and most important ingredient, sake. Our salmon is looking fantastic. You don't mind if I try a piece, do you? Mmm, that's delicious. And this is my maple glazed salmon. Let's go inside and prepare a plate. And another beautiful piece of salmon ready to get the vegetables and the rice to accompany it. Fresh piece of salmon, a little bit of wild rice. Our Sakatini marinade for vegetables, once that's complete, I'd like to show you how I garnish. There's one advantage to having rosemary in your backyard. It's a great garnish to accompany all of your salmon dishes, and it certainly is gonna accompany mine. Here's how beautiful my garnish is from my garden. Two lemon wedges. It's the only herb I have in my garden. And of course, rosemary right in the middle. What an absolutely beautiful dish. Jason's maple glazed salmon. Thanks for joining me in my kitchen this afternoon. Let's eat.